Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. Well, good morning, everyone. I am taking a break from playing catch with Melissa on this beautiful Sunday to go out of town with a friend of mine, Charlie, we're gonna go pick up an old car that's been buried in a barn for, geez, I don't think probably about 50 years, if you can believe it. Um, we're gonna go try and uncover it. I don't know what kind of shape the thing's gonna be in. I saw it last year and, and I said, hey, if you ever wanna sell that thing, let me know. And sure enough, what happened? They called me yesterday and said, come get the car. So that's what I'm gonna do, follow along today's adventure while we dig out a barn find. There we go, the Charlie rig is here. Soon to load up and get a car. So here is the garage. And how long has this car been sitting in here? That's a good question. It was your mom's car. It was. Brand new. Yep. And there was a big tank. Actually, you've moved it around the corner. If I get around the corner. That uh, fuel tank, I guess it was, was sitting there blocking the door for decades. Now let's go inside and see what we're faced with here. Somewhere underneath all this is a car. <laughs> yep. Um, so this this car has been sitting here, boy, Lord knows how long. Actually, there's one way to find out. You look at the license plate on the back. And that license plate is from... Oh, there's no license plate. But we suspect that the car has been sitting here probably about 50 years. So it's a, it's a 63 and uh, it would have been parked probably in the late 60s, early 70s and uh, has not moved. I think having the fuel tank in front of the garage door made it impossible to get it out. But today is the day, the first day this car is going to see light. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, try and clear the garage door. Who knows, there might be some other stuff in here that I can use. Okay, uh, how to get this thing open? Oh, here we go. Look at spider webs all over the locks. It definitely has not been moved in some time. There we are. Oh, to try and get the bottom out too. Hopefully these aren't all rusted in place. The dirt's been in here so long that it's actually buried into the ground. I gotta, I have to dig down to try and find the latch. Probably like an anthill or something here. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab some tools and chisel that open, I think. Okay, I've been digging away here, trying to get these things up. I'm getting close. I've got a little pry bar and I just have to pry them up and uh, hopefully we'll be home free of getting this door open up. Come on. Just a little bit more. So darn close. Come on. Ugh. There's one. Oh. So I get the other one up here too. Okay, we got one door open. The other door has been grown in a bit. Or the building settled a little both probably. Feeling close. Go just about. Okay. We 
got the doors open. Now it's time to get to the car. First, you gotta clear all this debris out of the way. Garage door open. We've got a clear enough path, I think, to get the car out, but we still have all this debris in the way that's gotta go. Years and years of stuff built up here, so. Now we just start piling stuff out. Okay, you can actually walk around the car. There it is. In fact, it is a two-door. It's a two-door post. And I, here I thought it was gonna be a four-door. Push button automatic. Push button auto. Probably does not have a whole lot on. What does it have for miles? Can you see the odometer? Seventy-eight thousand five hundred. Seventy-eight thousand five hundred, and then parked. Yeah, it's barely broken in. Well, the headlights. Oh no, the headlights are there. I thought one was missing. Considering this is a two-door post, that makes it a little bit more desirable. I think we're just going to get a compressor here, Charlie, and get this thing yeah. out. I'm just looking around at the other stuff that's in here too. Gas lantern. You never know what you're going to find in a place like this. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay, yeah, we'll see if these tires hold any air. Do you want me to fill it up, Charlie, or you got it? Here's the test. Well, air's going in, and not immediately back out. It's roundish. Well, that's air in one of the tires anyway. It's windy. Everything's blowing around. Charlie's going to try and throw some air in the other tire up at the front. And I can wiggle my way around the back and do the next two. Oh. Oops. Uh, is it coming straight out? Yeah. Well, there are spare tires. No, that one's not going to go. Okay, I'll take the hose around to the other side. Before we move this, I want to show you guys, the tire is actually buried in the ground. It's been sitting in this garage so long. It's actually sunken in. I'm going to try to get some air in there. Okay, we were able to get three out of four tires full. The last one, though, there's no hope for it. There is a spare tire in the trunk. Which I might put on at some point. Don't know if we'll do it on site here or later, but the gentleman who owns this property happens to have a beautiful little tractor. He's willing to chain onto the car and drag it out for us. First time in like five decades. See what she looks like in the daylight. Chain is getting hooked on and Charlie's gonna steer. And uh, we'll see. You, have, you guys probably haven't seen Charlie on a video since the Potter's house. He came out and helped me out a little bit there. Luckily he had some time today on a Sunday to help me out. Yeah, he says there's actually an attic in this old garage that nobody's been in in probably 40, 50 years too. So I might poke my head around up there and see. Looks like we're ready to start. So I'm gonna get out of the way and watch this baby come out of the garage. see movement in the garage. I can see a back end. <laughs> hey, you look good in that, Charlie. Hey. Ride, man. <laughs> yeah, the front tire is a little lopsided. Yeah. 
There she is. It's handy when they have a tractor hanging by. That back end sitting awfully low. That's a little concerning. See a little bit of rust in the fenders. Well, the one thing the waste didn't get to, yeah, there's the van. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if we grab a piece of paper, we'll go for a bill of sale on it. We'll do a bill of sale because I've got one. Okay, perfect. How quick are you? Charlie's got the winch hooked up. Let's see if this thing will, see if we can pull it up on the trailer. You gotta lower the deck down, but let's see if she'll go. There she is loaded up. It's final goodbye to the old farm here. The car is loaded up and I'm gonna head up to the attic up there, see what's inside. He hasn't been up there in years. Well, uh, I guess I'm the guy to figure out what's up there. Ooh. Well, there's stuff up here. Mainly it looks like uh, building materials. some old seats out of a car I don't know windows oh what's this hey an extra hubcap good thing I came up here it's mostly uh, aluminum siding bits but there does appear to be like uh, maybe a seat out of an old vehicle like some bucket seats not too much you're welcome here I'll get out of the way if you want to come look Back in the garage down below here. Look at the calendar date. I was put up there in 56. It's been sitting there since. Kind of neat to be in these buildings that have been sitting around for a lot of years. Well, didn't find much in the attic other than the uh, seats, which apparently are out of a 76 Capri. Somebody might want those. Did get a hubcap though. Looks to be the right size for this car. If it's not for this car, well, heck, I got a hubcap out of the deal. Okay, the car is loaded up. Although it's fairly low miles, it's a little bit rustier than I'd hoped. So sitting in that uh, barn for all those years on flat tires didn't do much good. Uh, we're gonna head back to the shop and drop it off there. Uh, Cause I don't think Melissa's gonna want this one sitting on our driveway for any amount of time. <laughs> it, can, it can hide at the store. But I'm glad I went up in that barn and got the hubcap though. And um, yeah, I mean, it does have the owner's manual and the paperwork and all that. So yeah, some good stuff going for it. And it is a two door too, so. Uh, it is a car worth saving. Here we are at the store. Starting to roll its way down. I'll put the windows back up. In case it rains. I'm kind of curious to know what shape the seat's in underneath all this. Actually doesn't look half bad. No, the seats are fine. Okay, well I'll leave that, I'll leave the covers on for now. Keep it protected somewhat. I should probably get the keys out of the ignition too. It's nice to get the car back. The way I put the fence back up, it looks like I rammed into the fence. I'm sure when the contractors come and be like, what happened here? <laughs> like, no, don't worry. Grab the keys. All right. So we got the car over to the shop just fine. And oddly, Hans is Charlie's second cousin Look, the man here showed up. I said, it's like a family reunion. I got all your family here. <laughs> None of you together at the same time. Well, that, not a surprise. But you were busy clearing out the house today and brought me well, some goodies. Well, we did tree bursting. Yeah. Then we got it to the dump. We ground out the stump. And then we went and finished cleaning up a dumpster that was that high. 
by about what? I saw it. Long? Zenobia's hiding out over here. I did see. I did see that dumpster. It was massive. Yes. But now, did you want to go to the head of your class, Alex? Oh, you know, I have dreams that I'm back in school. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I doing here? I don't need to write this math test. Uh, I think, did you go to the head of the class? Did you? No, I always it was in the back of the class. Oh, they you were back. They let me up front because I was such, uh, you know. You were causing trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and still causing trouble now. A couple of troublemakers here. What do you got on the. Oh, you got a nice antique bed frame there. Yes, I so you got know. a few neat little things. Oh, these are uh, prints. Prints, okay. Like the artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> prints, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, got it, but. So literally, Alex, I just want one of everything except for one of them. Okay. And that's five the of them. blank print. The blank. Oh, look at blankness. all the. Look at all the empty paper. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it over. Oh, oh, you mean oh, oh. there actually maybe is a picture on the other side? Oh, there, yeah, there would be, I would think. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ferrari. There's just a whole bunch of different. It's just a lot of posters. A lot yeah. of different. Look at this. But go through them. Oh, right? look at the lake. You know, <laughs> oh. I'm guessing that's from the '80s. Nothing is sexier than a lady's leg wrapped in saran wrap <laughs> <laughs> to match my Ferrari. This was this was the same dude, huh? Have your picture of your Ferrari 308 and your saran wrap lady legs. There you go. And there's, uh, uh, oh. most of this is from 85. Oh, okay. Just because I was kind of looking at them and I was going, yeah, there's some dates on some of these and they're like from 85. From the 80s, yeah. yeah What's with so, the happy potatoes? I don't know. Oh, there. It's like a, a Me Mexican jumping bean, maybe? Oh, that, that, that is a Mexican. He's probably my friend from the south. Well, all you need is the hat and you're halfway there. You got, you got to look at the mustache. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah. And then, and then there's a, that one there. Can you okay, that we'll dig through. The only way this electric locks will work is when it's tore apart like this. It's not oh, I see. You're talking about the vacuum here. Oh, the filter, the filter queen. queen. The filter queen. Oh, the filter queen. The only way it works. <laughs> what I like about the filter queen is I'm sure that's supposed to be uh, like, it looks like maybe shag carpeting, but it looks like a bunch of dirt. Like it's, you know, it, it itself looks dirty just looking at it. Filter queen. I hear this vacuum really sucks. Yucky, 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 yucky. You got that okay, Hans? From one truck to another, I'm gonna have to, uh, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff at the at the shop either, but we'll figure it out. Careful, it looks like you, you brought me bed bugs along the way here too. Well, that's it. We got the car. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it just yet, but I'll tell you what, the reason why I bought this particular car, um, I knew it was gonna be a Valiant, I knew it was gonna be older. I saw the roof line about a year, year and a half ago or so. Didn't remember that it was a two-door post now. That's particularly good because a two-door post is prime for hot rodding. If you do resto mods, you can race these, turn them into track cars. A two-door post is like the creme de la creme when it comes to guys looking for cars to take and convert into a racy car. So this could be a real find for the right person. Now, I think the interior is actually pretty decent. We'll pull up the seat covers in the next day or so and we'll see if that engine runs. But I guarantee that somebody who buys this car probably going to want to put a bigger engine in there. Do you imagine that thing with a Hemi inside of it? Boy, oh boy, you really get going. It's going to need a little TLC, that's for sure, but how often do you find a car that's been sitting since the early 70s? Anyway, guys, another fun adventure. A little bit of picking, a bit of adventure. You got a car to the shop, <laughs> and I'm sure it'll be an update soon when I know what the heck's going on with it. But guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I'll uh, give you more updates as I have them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and uh, who knows what the next adventure is going to be? I don't even know yet. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.